All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can send people to hell just because they were being slightly dicks at one point in their entire life. It's Grimder. In Grimder, you play a Grim Reaper with a superiority complex and no formal training. I actually guess that's kind of how it goes a lot of times in customer service. And as such, you have to look at people's problems that they've had in their life and swipe to determine whether or not they go to heaven or hell. Obviously, if you screw up too many times, uh, the management will get with you and tell you how you're destroying the entire ecology of heaven and hell. Since you can get reprimands and notes from upper management, uh, we're gonna try and do that. We need to send people to the inappropriate place and see what happens. Our first young man, Muhammad, is 49 years old when he died. He stuck a knife into a toaster. The real question here is, like, did he do this on purpose or was he trying to fish some toast out? I have done that before. It just never killed me. Maybe I'm just lucky. He has a calm demeanor. He was really good at eye contact. He actually communicated when they were upset about something. He ate other people's foods in the flat fridge. Also, are you wearing like a bathrobe or are you wearing a Jedi uniform? It could just be his death garb. Either way, he ate other people's food. That sounds like a burning in hell to me. It's a match. Does that mean that was a good thing? Edward, 25 years old, doesn't shave just like me. Choked on a quiche. I think that's its own penalty. Edward had a great work ethic, as all Edwards do. He was a good little saver, took out the trash without being asked, would always pet animals. They walked past. Takes everything literally. Someone was probably like, you have to eat that quiche in one bite. And he was like, if you say so. Eats fast food and never gains weight. You son of a bitch. <gasps> all right, new guy from Lucifer. <laughs> Already Lucifer's like, listen, we gave you four hours of training. How are you screwing this up so badly? I'm Grace still plays, bitch. How come the poor girls have to wear like a toga? This doesn't even look like a toga. It looks like a piece of toilet paper wrapped across her body. We got Becky over here. She's a 25 year old female. Cause of death is donated <laughs> organs prematurely? This goes beyond Darwin. Because at what point in your life are you like, I don't really, I don't know if the heart is necessary and this guy needs one and I'm feeling really altruistic. Imagine trying to have that conversation with a doctor where you're like, yeah, I really want to donate both of my kidneys. And the doctor's like, yeah, that's like after you die. And you're like, no, 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 I don't need them right now. I mean, what are they doing for me? Bio, kicked a dog once when they thought no one was looking. You twitch ho. Stood up for others, snorted. Every time they laughed, made people feel good about themselves. Yeah, except for the dog. I hate to tell you this, Becky, but unfortunately in hell, Dogs kick you. Lucifer, seriously? How long am I gonna keep my job, Lucifer? I'm gonna, you better, you better get your unholy ass over here and stop me. Ayana, 26 year old female, cause of death shark. That's all it is. It's just shark. Not like bit by a shark or maybe like got shot by a lone shark. It's just shark. Isn't there like a vacuum called the shark? It could have been that. It doesn't go into it. Pronounced gif as jif. Ooh. That will get you a first class ticket into the inferno. I'm seeing a lot of negatives here. I mean, not the organized charity events. That's kind of nice. Started sentences with, I'm not a racist, but constantly quoted mean girls. I think you may be like one of four people in the whole world that, do, that does this. The fact that you were killed by what could be a vacuum is its own penalty. But honestly, the GIF thing's getting me. So back to hell with you. I like how that one is a match. Simon is a male, 40 years old. He also looks like a chipmunk. He does have fantastic hair though. Cause of death, diabetes. Wilford Brimley is like, come to me, my son. Bio, afraid of heights, used I could care less when they meant I couldn't care less. I've done this like a hundred times. I feel for you. Returned friends borrowed items in terrible condition. Called their mum every Wednesday. Picked up rubbish from the beach on their days off. That's nice. I got good news and I got bad news, Simon. The good news is you're gonna get to eat all the sugar you could want. The bad news is you're gonna be doing it in hell. What is hell meant to do with this goody two shoes? Feed them Swiss rolls, I don't know. I just wanna see what happens when we fill hell all the way up. I want this all the way up and then we need to fill heaven all the way up with all the bad people. Wanda. 54 year old female, cause of death, lightning. This is actually an awesome cause of death. This is assuming she got struck by lightning. I don't really know what else could have happened. 
I mean, she could have been so afraid of the lightning that she drove her bike into oncoming traffic or something. I don't know. Bio, very clean and tidy. Can't whistle. Broke into a school pool and trashed it once. She is a superhero in all of our hearts. And her kryptonite is apparently lightning. Over to hell with you. Marcus, 80 year old male. Cause of death is mustard. What was he snorting it? Marcus is like, I'm too old to do cocaine. So now I do lines of mustard. Bio. Always shared snacks. Listen to old people telling stories over and over again. Yeah, because that's all he has for friends. The guy's 80. He could just be listening to himself. Never texted back. He's a foster parent. He left lids off of pens constantly. I don't even have lids for my pens. So I can't knock you for that. Sent minion memes to their friends, unironically. Marcus, do you feel the pull over to heaven? Can you feel its white light embracing you? Psych! <laughs> you sent a good one down. It's just a poor old guy. That's a six year old child. Sailed too many helium balloons and flew away. What? <laughs> Operated on their own time zone that was about 30 minutes later than everyone else's. This is incredibly advanced for a six year old child. Doesn't believe in the afterlife. It's kind of ironic that uh, we're having this conversation right now, then. Real quick, I have to bring something to everyone's attention. Carmelita, female, six years old, was a school bully when they were a kid. What, do you stop being a child at the age of five nowadays? I can't send a child to hell even I'm not that bad. It's also possible that she held on to her balloons for so long that she went to heaven. Christy tried to poke a snake to see if it was poisonous. It was. This is why if you're gonna be a jackass to a poisonous creature, you always use a stick. Not like your finger. Wore stilettos on airplanes. Is this a problem? I've never worn stilettos. Is this some sort of like, is this, is this a rule? Is this one of the weapons that you can't bring on airplanes? It is, isn't it? Don't worry, Christy. I sent the snake that killed you to hell, which is where you're going. So you two can be locked in internal, eternal battles. It's a match. The fact that this game finds anything that I make as a match just blows my mind. Cause of death, internalized rage. It is a catastrophic heart failure. He's like, berserkers are real. First, you have to get super pissed like this. And his heart was like, don't do it, John. Bio, calm demeanor. Something here doesn't make sense. Was a diplomatic friend, picked up coffee for their friends, and they're afraid of triangles. What did the triangles ever do to you? That's probably what happened. He probably went to a party and he was like, hey man, you got anything to eat here? And the guys are like, oh yeah, yeah, there's Doritos on the table. And he's like, Doritos, son of a bitch. <gasps> to hell with you. You've run out of space in hell. Due to your competency, you've been fired for one millennium. <laughs> Hold on, I've got to send everyone to heaven now and see what Lucifer has to say about this. Maria, 18 year old cause of death was spiders. Did the thank you wave while driving. Is this a good or a bad thing? Because I do this. At least everyone's going to heaven today so I can use the same idea for myself when it's my time. Did idiotic things and called it a prank. Maria, today is your lucky day. My hand only goes to the right. I think you made a mistake with this one. God just, <laughs> he told me. God, what do you have against Maria? Is the thank you wave that bad? He's up there. He's like, I've forgiven a lot of stuff, but the thank you wave, Get that crap out of here. Charlie drank too much water. Bio littered. Feeds pigeons. I love pigeons. I always feel so bad for them because they're like the homeless people of birds. Pigeons are also very dumb because every once in a while, my wife will make pigeon sounds at the pigeons and they'll like totally come over to her thinking that she's one of their people. <laughs> Congratulations, Charlie. You stayed so hydrated that you don't have to burn in hell today. God doesn't believe so though. How is heaven filling up so damn fast? There's such limited seating here. Tawas? I, I can't pronounce, I don't know exactly how to pronounce this. There's like a double A and a W. Tawus? I'm gonna call you Big T, cause of death bullfighting. That is a big balls cause of death. That's like an instant ticket into heaven. Wore Boston Red Sox hat, but can't name a player. Left voicemails instead of texting. This is pretty bad. My voicemail actually says, don't leave a voicemail. Please just text me instead. Congratulations. We're having a special today. Anyone whose name I can't pronounce goes straight to heaven. Heaven is a mess. Do you need another tutorial? Yeah, yeah, I didn't get a first tutorial. David over here fell asleep while driving. 
They say he's very reliable, but he died falling asleep while driving. This is an oxymoron. Could never actually just cook a little bit of pasta. Or so much perfume, it made people around them sneeze? What the hell? David, your ass is lucky it's Sunday. Otherwise, you'd be chewing on these horns. All right, congratulations, you're going to heaven. Your judge of character is questionable. I kind of knew God was going to say something about that one. Poppy, she drank Coke and had a Mentos at the same time. Probably a YouTube creator. Use acronyms for everything. Drunk driver. Oh, left a sticker on their hat. All right, again, are they doing this to me on purpose? Designated sober driver 90% of the time. The other 10% of the time they were driving drunk. Probably while snorting coke and mentos. All right, whatever to heaven with you. I am doing so much cleaning up of your mistakes here. Abu was the slowest of three friends running away from rampaging cows. What did you do to these cows? They're not even steers, they're cows. Scared of birds. Played support roles in video games graciously. Oh, so do I. Someone has to play the healer. That's what he was doing. He was back while everyone was running and he's like, I cast holy light. <laughs> Don't worry, when your other two friends that left you to die get here, I'll make sure they go to the right spot. Takuya? Poke a grizzly bear? Slept with shoes on, tried to find a cure for cancer. Points for trying. <laughs> Who's giving him these points? Who wrote these bios? You're giving the bullfighter a run for their money on the balls section. Plus, you tried to find a cure for cancer. I don't know what trying means. Like, I don't know if you just went on Google and typed stuff in or if you were actually a scientist, but welcome to heaven. Sarah was attacked by a clothesline. What the hell does this even mean? It's like some sort of M. Night Shyamalan movie instead of the happening with like the plants attacking, it's the clothesline strangling the shit out of people. Bio takes your curly fries, you ho. More active where to go grocery shopping. Obsessive gamer. Sounds like heaven material to me. Another day ended. Answer's right 50%. How come, how come it's so lenient when it comes to heaven? God was constantly like, you suck at this, but somehow I made it through. Well, we did it. We overcrowded hell. And I guess destroyed the entirety of the afterlife. Good luck finding a replacement though, because no one wants this job, you bastards. The pay is garbage. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Grimder. Till next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>